Um, so the conference that we are organizing today is part of a research project <coughs> of the same name, which is a collaboration between the Center for Policy Research in Delhi and the Christian Nicholson Institute and the University of Bergen in Bergen in Norway. And uh, we are very fortunate to have with us today the entire project team. So I have on my right Professor Siri Glockman, who is a professor of comparative politics at the University of Bergen and a senior researcher at the Christian Nicholson Institute. And I have also Kavita Nalani, who is a postdoctoral researcher at CMI, and Hugo, who is also at, at the CMI. He's a, he's a researcher there. Siri uh, is going to speak in a few minutes and talk more about the project and perhaps about CMI as well. But um, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and talk about the Center for Policy Research and introduce the team from CPR. We're a very small team. So, it, and the team includes, apart from me, Pallav Shukla, who I think just stepped out. But I think you all know him uh, because you've been getting a lot of emails from him and he's really been the man behind the show. Um, actually, <laughs> uh, and we also have Sonam Malhotra, who's just going to come up and uh, who's also been helping with this conference and the project. So, uh, I want to outline the plan for the conference today. We have three panels. I just want to introduce the Sonam and Pallav uh, have been helping on this project. Uh, I want to outline the plan for the conference today, which is we're going to have three panels uh, on Meghalaya, Gujarat, and Andhra Pradesh, and uh, we're going to start with the with the panel on Meghalaya. Uh, we're running a little late, which is okay for the Delhi winter, and uh, we're going to start with the Meghalaya panel in about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll go on to maybe about noon, and we'll have a tea break then, and then that'll be followed with the Gujarat panel, and then the panel on Andhra Pradesh will be after lunch. So to tell you a little bit about the project and the conference, the idea behind the project is to investigate issues relating to property rights uh, of tribal and other traditional communities to land and natural resources, as well as look at environmental concerns and issues of inclusive sustainable development within the framework of India's federal state relations with reference to the provisions particularly in the fifth and the sixth schedules to the constitution which contain specific provisions for, uh, for governance of areas that are scheduled areas as described under the fifth and the sixth schedule. So the first panel as I mentioned is, is the Meghalaya panel and we have our panelists here uh, starting with Mr. B.G. Valdez. We are very fortunate to have him uh, here. He's a, he's a very senior journalist and has been the former editor of the Hindustan Times and the Indian Express and a recipient of the Magsasif Award. He is one of the senior most faculty members at CPR. And before I ask Siri to tell you about the project, I would actually request him to speak a few words about the Center for Policy Research and about how this project fits in or complements work that has been done at the CPR and the CPR is committed to doing. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you. <coughs> Mike on. Uh, Mike on. Uh, by the new asset. Time, we are starting early, so we don't need to worry. Uh, that's good. I welcome the Assam time. Um, uh, we're talking about land rights, environmental protection, and inclusive development. And this has been sponsored by the CPR in collaboration with colleagues from Norway, University of Bergen, and the, and the is it uh, Christian Michelin Institute also in, in Bergen. And we're particularly glad that um, Professor Gloppen from those two institutions and uh, another of our colleagues from Norway are here. Uh, welcome to our cold winter. We will must feel at home as though you are in Norway. Uh, <coughs> the, the, the CPR is a think tank. It was founded about 35 years ago, and um, it was um, uh, part of the new family of the Indian Council for Social Science Research. Um, it deals with policy issues. So that not looking at outcomes, but policies and how they're shaped, and um, how good or bad they are, and whether different policy initiatives could be taken up. So it has played that role, and it has had a faculty of both elderly people 
um, who are retired and not really scholars, but like me, I'm a fellow, but I classify myself as a jolly good fellow rather than a fellow. I'm not an academic at all, and, um, but a journalist, uh, the good people journalists. Um, and, I, uh, and I think um, uh, that has helped to bring uh, the, the, the experience of people who've been working in government or in corporate world or in medicine, law, journalism, um, or in academia to bring to bear their experience and wisdom on these issues, together with young research scholars who are the real brain trust of our think tank. Um, people like Namita and, um, and Kavita and Sonam and Pallav and the others, um, they are the driving force. Um, we have looked, on, uh, looked at a number of issues dealing with, um, with the whole spectrum of, of social sciences. We're not rooted in any particular branch, but we keep on shifting. And it's built around the scholars that we have and the interests they bring to bear. New programs have been started because a particular individual has come with a certain interest, which fits into the general scheme of things about policy thinking. Uh, when I joined, we started a, a water resources section and also uh, had some people look at the Northeast, two areas that I've been in, interested in in a general way. Uh, but um, uh, we don't have any water unit today. We don't have any Northeast unit today as such per se. But the interest is still there. Likewise, various other fields that people have brought into the, in, into the corpus of the CPR's work because of their particular uh, initiatives and expertise there. We've also had people from government work with us as, as fellows, uh, serving officers of government. That practice was quite, quite lively at one time, but it has faded away. Otherwise, we used to have people of the rank of um, directors to government, joint secretaries, and even secretary-level officers come and spend some time with us as a sabbatical to think over what they've been doing in terms of the policy fields and what they might be doing in terms of, um, of the new assignments they were, they were moving to. That has been a very productive I interaction. But apart from that, we have a live contact with, uh, with every section of society, with government, with the corporate world, with the planning commission, with banks, with foreign scholars and universities and so on. So it's a very eclectic body and we have proceeded on that basis. Now, this workshop is of particular interest to us because, as I say, one of our earlier interests, and which is not lost entirely, is um, uh, uh, tribal policies in the Northeast and uh, the dispossessed and the marginalized and land issues with that. And um, even as uh, uh, recently as, uh, as um, a year ago, I think there's a little consultation paper that's been circulated where we looked at issues of the tribal rights and the fifth schedule. So that's a continuing interest. And in this, we are therefore um, uh, very much uh, uh, in line with the kind of activities that are being taken up under this project of land rights, environmental protection, and inclusive development in India, dealing with not only with tribal people, but other uh, traditional communities and marginalized sections. Um, the case studies that have been taken up have already been described in three states. I'm supposed to speak about um, uh, Meghalaya. I'm, I'm no expert. The expert is sitting on, on my right here. But um, we are uh, very concerned about these matters because this kind of exclusion uh, in tribal areas particularly, but elsewhere too, has led to the neglect of uh, tribal peoples, of their marginalization, uh, resulting in uh, fertile ground for left-wing extremism, as we call it. Uh, now, uh, these are issues that are very much part of our general concerns, and this seminar, therefore, will help us to think more clearly about some of the issues pertaining to some of the areas that we are going to be talking about. So I welcome you all again, and from, on behalf of the CPR, I'm, I'm sorry that our, that our um, uh, president and chairman are both um, otherwise engaged out of the country, otherwise they would have been here. But on their behalf and on behalf of the CPR, I wish you all a very warm welcome and look forward to a very productive um, seminar. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Vigdis. Now I'll ask uh, Siri to speak about the project and about the CMI. Thank you, Namita. <clears throat> uh, first, I'd like to take this opportunity to, of course, welcome you all, but also thank the CPR and <laughs> Namita in particular and Palau for the great work that they've put into putting together this excellent, excellent program. And uh, generally for all the work of putting together the conference, which is, is required quite a bit of logistics. The, um, uh, the Christian Mikkelsen Institute, the name is often confusing because people think it has something to do with, with Christianity. It was actually, it's named after the Prime Minister who was Norwegian Prime Minister at the time of Norwegian independence. And he was a rich man, he was the shipping magnate. And when he died, he gave his fortune to, a large part of it, to a center for excellent research. So the center was established around 80 years ago to do research in different fields. And it's fascinating to, to listen to, to uh, what Mr. Vergez just said about the CPR, because it's in many ways quite similar. Um, the, uh, it started sort of doing research in all kinds of, of, of uh, fields, uh, but in, in the 50s, 1950s, it started focusing particularly on development research. And it established a center, uh, a program called Development Research for Action, which was uh, which looked at trying to be of practical, to do research of practical use for developing countries. And the, and the uh, researchers were required to work for extended periods, years, in different countries. And also there was a, a, a large extent of exchange between people coming from various countries around the world to stay and work at, this, uh, at the CMI, as we call it, and, and the other way around. And this, and I think that we share a commitment to be practical, to work close to policy, and to be relevant in, in, in relation to, to, uh, to issues on the ground and in the world. And uh, around 30 years ago, uh, the CMI established a human rights uh, program, which, was, which has been running for many years and you know, has different forms. And part of this is work looking at the role of law and legal institutions in relation to uh, social and political change. And this, uh, this program that uh, sort of came out of, of different types of work that Namita has been doing and we've been doing before, and, and Kavita as well, uh, focus, uh, comes in this, in this, uh, within this, the, this, this program. That, trying to look at the role of law and social transformation. Um, we, were, we were sort of, the, the puzzle that started this research program was uh, the role that, that in, in the context of uh, the Indian development strategy, which focuses on, on industrial development for a large part, um, the, the, and, and which sort of increases the, the, the stress and the, and the battle over resources and, and land in particular, and where, where land needed for development purposes, also sort of uh, the use of land also, also risks uh, marginalization of po vulnerable population groups, but also environmental degradation. How the laws put in place to try and, and shield these groups shield these concerns work differently in different parts of the of the country, and in many cases does not work uh, as as uh, sort of intended or at least uh, ostensibly um, uh, in in the letter of the law. So, so we were sort of trying to look at how the law plays into different types of social and political dynamics in different parts of the country, and and that's the sort of concern that, that then sort of well, from which the project was born. And um, I think that we're very fortunate to, from the perspective of the pro pro project, we're really fortunate to have sort of Kavita with her background in law and land rights, extensive, uh, that she will develop within this, this project further, looking at how issues of property rights and, and related rights are sort of differ in different parts of the country and, and, uh, and how this 
enables uh, different people to use the law for different concerns. And also, Kavita, with her background in political federal uh, relations in, in, uh, in particular, how so the law plays into different political dynamics in different uh, parts of the country. And also Hugo, who uh, has, has a background in looking at minority rights uh, in particular. So, um, and as I also have a background in, in legal mobilization, uh, the role of, of legal institutions in, in various parts of the world. So, so we, we think that we have quite a good team for sort of focusing on these issues and for reaching out to other researchers in, in, on the ground in India and draw, uh, this is the nucleus that will start the project, but hopefully we're hoping to build more of a, a team with also people here today on, uh, to do this work in the next three years, at least three, four years. So, so this is, is uh, uh, I think, the, enough on the background of the project. Uh, this is, uh, of course, we've done some work already, uh, but this is really the kickoff for the project. This is where the project starts. And we're just incredibly grateful for those of you who've come to share all your knowledge with us to enable us to sort of build on, on, on uh, what the work that has been done already, and also who've come to be part of this discussion. We've uh, set this up with short presentations, relatively 15 minutes or so, and then quite a lot of time for discussion for each, pa each panel. And we really, really would like you to come with your questions, comments, criticisms, suggestions, uh, and be part of this deliberation over issues that are of common concern. So, thank you. Thank you, Siri. And I, I think Siri's been quite modest, but uh, she's uh, not just the, have a background in law and social transformation, but has done extensive work in other areas, health rights, sexual and reproductive rights, etc. And she's had a lot of experience uh, uh, running large projects like this. So we are very fortunate indeed to have her guidance. So I think we can now start with the first panel. But before we do that, I just want to um, emphasize again what Siri said about collaboration. Because one of the things that we realized fairly quickly when we started working on this project is that for a country the size of India, the, with the issues as complex and diverse as there are in all of these states, there is only so much that uh, you know all of us can do within the period of time that we have. And so that's why we're very fortunate to have our speakers in and the plan for this conference is to really start off a, a dialogue and a, and a process that I hope will continue to continue over the years and help us really do some solid work on uh, some of these issues in these states. So with that, uh, we're about uh, 15 minutes uh, into our starting time and for the first panel. So I think we'll go up till noon uh, for this panel. And now I'll hand over to Kavita, who's going to chair the first panel on Meghalaya in the sixth schedule. Thank you, uh, Mr. B.G. Varghese and uh, Siri for uh, giving us such a good uh, start to the backdrop of this conference. And uh, let me just uh, very briefly introduce our panelists. Uh, first uh, is Mr. B.G. Varghese, uh, who is, uh, as he himself has said uh, a couple of minutes back, he has been a fellow at CPR, he has been a columnist and an author. And we would start with Mr. B.G. Varghese, followed by uh, Mr. H.H. H. Mormon. Uh, Help Me Mormon is from Jovai district in Meghalaya, and he's a social activist. Uh, for past 15 years, he's been intensely involved with uh, uh, anti-mining uh, activities and uh, civil society uh, articulation uh, in the state of Meghalaya. And the last speaker for today would be Dr. Melville Pereira. He is the director of Northeastern Social Research Center, Guwahati. And uh, he has uh, uh, finished his uh, PhD from Jawaharlal Nehru University on customary uh, law in, uh, in the Northeast. Um, unfortunately, our fourth panelist, uh, Professor Apurba Barua, has taken ill and he would not be able to join us. So uh, let, us, uh, let, me allow, uh, let me give the uh, mic to Professor uh, Mr. Varghese and 
welcome sir and we really look forward to hearing your presentation thank you yeah, Mr. Yes, why not a quick round of yeah we can uh, i think that's a very good <laughs> idea so uh, since we've uh, introduced ourselves may, uh, maybe we can go uh, from this side and take a quick round of introduction uh, my name is Pawan Mamdi. I'm a professor at uh, the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. Sir, I am Shastrit uh, from Hyderabad. I retired as director of Tribal Research Institute eight years ago. And uh, I have been uh, working as consultant in various organizations, mainly on land issues in scheduled areas. Uh, I am uh, uh, MP Singh. I retired as a professor from Delhi University Political Science Department and presently I am an honorary senior fellow at Center for Multi-Level Federalism in Institute of Social Sciences, New Delhi. Morning. Um, my name is Ravi. I work with this organization called Samata on tribal rights and environment. I am based in Andhra Pradesh. I am Bharat. I am working with fishing community in Mundra. My name is Manju Menon. Um, I manage a collaborative uh, environmental justice program, uh, which is initiated by an organization called Namati, and it's being uh, uh, it's being um, implemented in India in collaboration with Center for Policy Research. So I sit at CPR. Uh, besides that, my uh, doctoral work is on uh, the public discourse around hydropower projects in the Northeast, particularly Arunachal Pradesh. So I'm interested both ways uh, to be here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Kanchi Kohli. I'm an independent researcher and writer, uh, and I float around the country. That's it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sonam Gayatri. I'm a researcher at the Center for Policy Research, and I'm working with Mr. B.G. Verghese on the Fifth Deal. Thanks. I'm Scott Schlossberg. I'm with the U.S. Embassy in the Economic Growth Unit there. I'm Gaurav Sharma. I'm with the German Embassy at the Political Advisor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Megha Bari. I'm a journalist. I'm Matt Lennard. I'm also at the American Embassy in the Political Section. Hi, I'm Suresh Madhavan from the Embassy of Norway in New Delhi. I'm an advisor the Technical Section. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I work with Terry. Hi, I'm Delphia, and I work with Accountability Council, a nonprofit that assists communities affected by development projects. Hi, good morning. I'm Smriti Talwar. I'm working uh, with the World Bank on something called the Land Governance Assessment Framework, where I briefly met Mr. Shastri. I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> I'm Balveer Arora. I taught political science at JNU, Center for Political Studies, for many years. Currently chairman of the Center for Multilevel Federalism at the Institute of Social Sciences. I am Hugo Stocker and I'm a researcher at the Christian Mikkelsen Institute in Bergen, Norway. Good morning, I'm Govind Kelkar. I work on women's economic empowerment and work on women and land rights, particularly in two countries, India and China. I've been working for this for some time. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm based at an uh, uh, institution called Landesa, that means working for land, uh, land for poor, and uh, I coordinate the programs on women and, women's land rights, and I've also worked on Northeast, particularly Meghalaya. Uh, I'm Hanu Joshi, I'm, I work at the Center for Policy Research. I work on urban studies. Hi, I'm Anirudh. I also work with the Center for Policy Research and the National Institute of Public Finance and Policy. Hi, I'm Shivani Ghosh. I'm an environmental lawyer and currently based at the Center for Policy Research. I'm Max Barak. I'm a reporter with the New York Times. Uh, I'm Derek Mitchell. I'm from a grant-making organization called the Whole Green India Program based in the U.S. with a lot on Adivasi issues. Morning, I'm Varun Mitra from Liberty Institute, and we are greatly interested in this liberty, property, democracy relationship. 